Back in 1980, Carl Sagan hosted a wonderful series in which he took us on a journey to the stars, billions and billions of stars. Now we can take a different type of cosmos journey, one that looks for stars in the nutritional universe. This is the cocoa supplement and multivitamin outcome study called Cosmos. Some 21,000 people in the U.S. were randomized in the double-blind trial to take either a multivitamin, a cocoa extract, or a placebo every day for three years. Why? Because a large percentage of the population takes dietary supplements, hoping for some sort of health benefit. And researchers at Harvard University wanted to find out if there was any merit to this. Multivitamins were chosen because these are the most popular supplement, and given that they are an essential component of the diet, they can be reasonably expected to provide some sort of benefit. But many people reach for various natural botanicals as well. Cocoa extract seemed a good representative of botanicals, since it contains a class of molecules called flavonols, particularly catechins and epicatechins, that in some previous studies were shown to have positive effects on blood pressure, inflammation, and insulin resistance. In this case, the supplement use contained 500 milligrams of cocoa flavonols, including 80 milligrams of epicatechin. The goal was to determine if either the cocoa extract or the multivitamin had an effect on cardiovascular disease, cancer, or cognition. The cocoa extract had no effect on cancer, but it had reduced cardiovascular events and deaths from cardiovascular disease, but the results were barely significant. Multivitamins had no effect on cardiovascular disease at all and had no effect on cancer overall, except for a possible reduction on the risk of lung cancer. Cognitive abilities were also tested. A subgroup of the subjects completed annual telephone interviews to assess memory and thinking abilities, and another subgroup completed a more thorough annual web-based assessment. The cocoa extract had no effect on cognition, so you can forget about taking it for that purpose. But taking multivitamins did result in a modest improvement in memory. Such memory tests involve showing subjects' names and various figures, and later seeing which are recalled as having been previously seen. Whether an improvement on such a test has any practical significance when it comes to everyday life isn't clear. Maybe if further experiments can pinpoint which component or components in the vitamin mix has an effect on cognition, then we may have something. So there doesn't seem to be much point in taking a cocoa extract, and even less of a point in eating chocolate, since processing has a negative impact on flavanols. Furthermore, a higher percent of cacao does not necessarily translate to more flavanols. As far as the multivitamins go, maybe taking one every day will help you remember to take one every day. That's about it. I'm afraid this version of Cosmos, what we are seeing, are falling stars. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.